Hey guys, welcome back to another Social Studies with Savannah video. Um, today is what was Pearl Harbor, but if you haven't seen my last video, which was who was Corey Ten Boom, after this video you should go watch that. Um, I know it's Friday and I said I was going to post every Wednesday, but Wednesday we, well, Monday we started a new school routine and um, I actually bumped, I skipped 8th grade and I'm going into 9th grade and it is a lot more schooling than I was expecting and uh, you, we used to not do as much like hours every day schooling and now I'm doing like 4 hours every day which is a lot more than I'm used to so I just completely forgot about it but I'm here now and that's over and we can get into this video so before I wanted to say what happened at Pearl Harbor, I wanted to say where Pearl, Har Pearl Harbor is. So Pearl Harbor is actually a Navy base in Honolulu, Hawaii. It's still there, but I'm not sure if there's as much importance there since the attack. Uh, it was an important part of America's military. Um, actually, on December 7th, 1941, Japanese people attacked... Pearl Harbor, the Japanese people attacked Pearl Harbor. Uh, the attack was a surprise attack, but an attack was expected and around that time because the Japanese and the US had been at odds with each other for a while. Uh, the main thing was US was allies with China and Japan was, um, uh, what's it called? I forget what it's called, but they weren't being nice to China. And when the Japanese people declared war on China, we put economic sanctions and trade embargoes on Japan. I didn't know what those were, so I looked it up. And an economic sanction is like a fan financial penalty. And then a trade embargo is like when you're not spending money on the stuff that you usually trade with them for. So it was kind of like a punishment almost like they're not going we're not going to trade with you normally unless you stop whatever you're doing uh the american officials figured that without access to the essentials that J the japanese would usually get from america that they would back down but it actually had the opposite effect on the japanese and they were determined to stand their ground and so the americans uh hawaii was four thousand miles from japan and 2,000 miles from America's mainland. So the Americans believed that instead of attacking Pearl Harbor or American mainland, that they would attack one of the European colonies in the South Pacific. But um, it seemed unlikely that they would attack such a distant place. Because an attack was not expected on Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor was relatively undefended and many boats and planes were exposed. To say it plainly, Pearl Harbor was basically a sitting duck. Uh, the Japanese's goal was to destroy America's naval fleet to cripple them and that would hinder them from the so soon to come invasion on the South Pacific from Japan. So on A8, 8 a.m. Sunday, December 7th, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor with air ships, airplanes, not ships, airplanes. At 8.10, a 1,800 1, pound bomb landed on the US, USS Arizona's deck. The ship sunk, trapping a thousand men inside. Shortly after that, torpedoes hit the USS Oklahoma, which had 400 men on it, but was eventually salvaged. In less than just two hours, the attack was over, and all, all eight battleships that were stationed there had significant damage, and two of them were never saved. Ironically, all of them were named after states, but that doesn't matter. Uh, 300 planes were damaged, as well as 12 other naval ships. Uh, more than 2,400 people died, including civilians and 1,000 wounded. Because Pearl Harbor wasn't just a, a naval base, people lived in Hawaii. And if you think about it, if there's 
so many men there, then they're going to have families, they're going to have wives and children and stuff, and then there's the native people, and, you know, there's hospitals there, so they need doctors, and there was a lot, it wasn't just a naval base, there was a lot of civilians there, and when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, they also attacked the civilians. But the Japanese's intention of crippling America failed. By the 1940s, the most important American vessel was no longer battleships, it was aircraft carriers. And all of America's aircraft carriers were actually away from the uh, from Pearl Harbor at the time, and so they were saved. So the next day, on December 8th, Franklin Roosevelt addressed America after the crushing attack. Um, if you ever heard the, the saying, a day that will live in infamy, that's what um, Franklin Roosevelt said. And then, after this attack, the Americans were united in their decision to join World War II two years after it had started. Um, so, after America joins the war, there is actually a, a m movement to um, try to cut down, well, not cut down, but to try to, try to make America safer, um, the, all the Japanese people in America, all of them, uh, were sent to internment camps. And uh, when people are afraid or hurt or, or feel threatened, they will do things that they wouldn't normally do. Like if you've ever seen a hurt dog, they might bark and try to bite you when normally they wouldn't do that. But um, we sent, the American people sent uh, a ton of Japanese people two internment camps to try and make sure that none of them were spies or um, weren't planning on continuing the attack in America. Um, if you would like more information on that book, uh, not book, on that subject, I have this book called The Journal of Ben Uchida. Uh, it's historical fiction, but it's basically as if you're reading, like, his diary. I mean, I know that's wrong, but it's, it's telling you what happened through, through his perspective. Um, and it also, at the end, it has, you know, like, the actual facts and stuff, like, um, the before and the after and how many people were taken and such. But um, this series, the Dear America series, or My Name is America for the Boys, uh, it's all about historical American people who were in America's past. So I also have this one called Early Sunday Morning, and it is a Pearl Harbor diary. And it's about a girl whose father was a uh, in the Navy. But... Um, well, no, he wasn't in the movie. He was a news reporter, that one. But uh, both of these are about the Pearl Harbor attack. Well, this one's about the Pearl Harbor attack. This one's about the after the Pearl Harbor attack. But if you would like those, it's just Dear America. They're at the library. Every library I've been to, they've had it. And they have a ton more about American people. And they have ones for boys and one for, for girls. So that is the end of my video. I'm thinking that it's, that this video is going to be relatively short because Pearl Harbor was only like three hours long, I think, or two hours. So it wasn't, you know, a super long time like my other videos. Um, but I hope you enjoy learning about Pearl Harbor and about America's history. Remember to like and subscribe and to watch out for new videos or hit the notification bell. And never stop learning!